you know, obviously defensively is kind of where we stood out tonight. I thought especially early we were really locked in and um, did a great job with the scouting report, playing individual tendencies and defending their offense and making it difficult for them to score. And I thought we were fairly consistent with that throughout. I thought our defensive rebounding, there were a few times where you know we missed a block out there towards the end of the half where a guy got a freebie and a couple maybe uh, other blockouts where we could have been a little bit more physical. But you know to get 34 defensive rebounds and 43 tries, I mean, you know, we got it done on the defensive backboard as well. Um, that's certainly, uh, you know, the highlight of how we played. You know, the low light, obviously, is that we were anemic offensively. We stunk offensively. We missed shots that were open by some of our shooters. I didn't think our ball and player movement was uh, good consistently. And then we turned the ball over. I thought we were soft offensively. They took our ball, especially in the first half. On several occasions, they just stripped us and took it from us. And I told him, I said, there's times, you know, certainly when you hear that word toughness, and I think a lot of people think uh, that it applies primarily to the defensive end, but, you know, it really applies to both ends of the floor. And I, I just thought offensively, our cutting, uh, our passing, our catching, our toughness with the ball on offense was just really, really poor. Explain the lack of energy and intensity to me, because that didn't seem to be there at all. No, I, I, I didn't feel that way, uh, George, Not certainly not to, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but I thought we had pretty good pop defensively. Now, as we started to miss shots in the second half, I thought that, you know, maybe we could have played with a little bit more voice. We got a little quiet, but um, and the game got closer there. Some young guys got some experience in that type of environment where it got close in the second half. I thought that was good, but I, I'll watch it. I, I didn't think it was so much... Uh, you know, effort or energy as it was just, you know, poor shot making, poor execution offensively, poor ball and player movement, all the little things fundamentally that make a good offense. I didn't think we did any of them particularly well. And so we've got to be a lot better on that end of the floor. That's what I meant. I wasn't, your defense oh. was fine, but it looked like you, it, they were lethargic offensively. For, for, for much of the yeah, game, we weren't very good. I mean, we weren't very connected on that end of the floor for sure. Um, we've played much better offensively in some other uh, games and, and scrimmages. And uh, we haven't been very consistent with that at all. And, um, you know, just uh, didn't, didn't play well offensively. Like I said, you name it. Passing, catching, shot making, decision making, cutting, screening, you know, reading pick and rolls. I just thought we were really, really bad. And we've been pretty good um, as recent as a week ago offensively in a lot of those areas and uh, in some of the other uh, games we played as well. And uh, we just didn't, didn't have it on that end of the floor tonight. Certainly give North Carolina Central credit because I thought they were physical, took our ball, just punked us uh, at times on that end of the floor, us offense, them defense, especially in the first half. I thought they set the tone that they weren't going to give us anything easy on our offensive end. So, you know, give Lavelle's kids a lot of credit. I don't want to have any excuses, but it is a. I said this before the game to Frenchie on the air. It is atypical to have a week off this time of year. Usually, it's for final exams, and um, you know it wasn't ideal. It wasn't ideal, um, and we did not. But at the same time, you know you've got to be unconditional. You want to be a good basketball team. You know we got a week of uh, final exams coming up where we don't play. You know, so we can't use that as an excuse. Um, I did think we played like we practiced. I thought our practices the last couple of days were just subpar to average. And then at shoot around today, a great lesson for a few of the newcomers. I didn't think they were very sharp today, and I let them know that in a very nice and tactful way today at the shoot around. And so I'm not overly stunned or surprised that they didn't weren't real sharp tonight in the game. You know. We have a saying, preparation trumps pressure, and when you don't prepare the right way, then, you know, sometimes you'll still play well. I'm not saying you never do. That's what would be true. But more often than not, if you don't do that, then you're not, you know, not on edge and not where you need to be emotionally, mentally, and physically as engaged as we needed to be today. And, and uh, some of the guys I thought played that way, quite honestly, here uh, tonight. In your mind, was uh, the, the lack of shooting – due to poor shot selection or just missing shots? Both. Both. I thought some we just missed, and I thought some, like, you know, we didn't understand. I, I didn't think we were very intelligent either, and we've got some intelligent players on our team. 
And we just did some things that were just, you know, not very smart. Uh, not very um, in terms of high percentage plays. They were low percentage plays, George, and just weren't very smart. Tried to do things. We had the accountant trying to be the engineer and the engineer trying to be the musician and the musician, I'll say this one for you, George, trying to be the movie critic and the movie critic trying to be the accountant and, you know, the accountant needs to be the accountant, needs to be a daggone good accountant. We're counting on them to really do that well. And uh, when you start doing things that you're not great at and just ad-libbing and doing things that are out there, you've been given your role for a reason. You know, we want you to look good and we want our team to look good. And when you start doing things that are outside of that and, you know, ad-lib and play to don't play to your strengths, I think it, you know, makes – makes the individual look bad, and it makes our team look bad. And I thought that happened some tonight offensively. You liked the movie critic, didn't you? I had to throw that in. George. I got a question. What do you do to get ready for Monday? Well, obviously, we'll take a look at the film um, a little bit, but we've got to move on at this point with two, game, two days to prepare for Monday night's game. We've got four games in ten days. And, um, you know, we'll see what we can learn from this one. Uh, very quickly tomorrow for probably 20 to 30 minutes of film, and then we're rolling right into USC Upstate. And you know, I told them we got to get ready, got to get ready for Monday night. We got to learn from this one. We got to move. You know, but the only way you learn, that's why we always, no matter what we go through, we try to learn from it, win or lose, doesn't matter. I want that to be the same all the time. We always feel like we can get better and improve if you'll be coachable and you'll listen. And you know, you can't change behavior unless you change how you think. And so if the guys are thinking the right way and their minds are in the right place, then they have a chance to change some behavior and then we have a chance to get better. So we'll do that first and then we'll turn our attention to USC Upstate. Is it a comfort knowing you have that string of games to, to, to get used to actually playing somebody else? Yeah, I think so. The, the players right now are excited to play. Obviously, with the week off right after the season started, it is atypical. And, uh, but... Again, I don't want to give them any excuses. You know, you get so many. I've tried to remind the seniors, you know, you've got now it's three games. you got 29 more guaranteed for the senior class. You hope to play more than that, obviously, George, but that's all that's guaranteed to you. And, and the same thing with practices. Preseason's over. Like, there's not as many. you you got to take advantage of every day, everything that we do to get better. I didn't think we did that the last two days. We didn't honor the process. And so – Hopefully we can learn from that, be better the next couple days in our preparation, and uh, play better on Monday night.